On 98.5, this is Mornings with Mike. Good morning and welcome to Tuesday morning and good morning and welcome to the studio. Penny from oh, Kinloon. Hello, good morning. Nice to have you in. Nice yeah. to, you've had a bit of a, oh, I've had a couple of weeks off. You, you had a couple of weeks yeah. off. I had about four days off. Was that good? Four days still good? Four days is still pretty good. WA, the weather was perfect. Not this weekend, the weekend before. We are Absolutely spoiled, you know, perfect we? down south. It was green, blue skies. Went horse riding with oh. my daughter. It was just me and her. We had a ball. You've re- rested and recharged? And R- well, rested and a bit. ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> Not quite sure we got onto the recharge. <laughs> Four days didn't have yeah, enough time. That doesn't quite make it, really. <laughs> oh, it's good uh, to be what back. about yourself? You had two, two weeks off. It's great. It yeah. feels actually it feels longer, I reckon. You have two That's weeks nice. off, and it feels like four. So it's great mid-year break and back into it, which is pretty exciting. Good. Now we're being we're going to be talking about um, well, your theme for this month. Yes, is fear less fear about less. your image. Oh, so we're talking right. about um, it's, it. It could go very broad this subject, but today I thought, well, let's just talk about our body image. Let's go there. But you're talking about okay, so body, body image, body. Yeah, this is a this is a um, it's a I guess a big issue, isn't it? Really, it is. It is. It's not a new issue. Yeah. It's it is a big issue, and it's a constant um, little battle that we have in our heads. Um, I think it is a little bit more difficult today because of the constant media that is in front of us um, and that comparison. But it's not a new issue. So it's been around, been, it's been around, around forever. Been around a long time. Yeah. But different in two thousand and eighteen. Yeah, I think I think it's in, there's an incessant um, picture that's out there um, of other people that we constantly compare ourselves to. When it comes to our bodies, and we, you know, and we just forget that, you know, these are movie stars with millions of dollars yeah. <laughs> that surround them to look like they do, and there's airbrushed photographs, and um, yeah, and it's and there's filters on our yeah. on our yeah. photos, yeah. and yeah, and the bottom line is we're different. And it's just we, we constantly have to remind ourselves that our that we do have different bodies and that also we're not defined by just our body. Penny, is it a is it a daily thing from a for a for a female particularly? Is that you know, as we get up, look in the mirror, is that is that a, a like a regular daily thing that women are constantly concerned about their image and how they look? Well, I think everyone's different. Um, do I constantly think about when I get up in the morning when I have my little routine of, you know, getting myself ready for work and mm. putting on a bit of makeup and doing my hair. I, I don't think it's a constant thing for me, mm. um, but I certainly want to make the best of who I am. But, you know, and I'll, let's face it, you know, sometimes I'll put on something and I'll say to my, say to my partner, so, babe, does my bottom look big in this? <laughs> <laughs> you know, thinking that he's going to give me an honest answer <laughs> and he really has an understanding of whether this really suits me or not. Yeah. What, what is he going to say? Yeah. Yeah, it's like... How do we respond? <laughs> how do how do you respond? And he goes, "No, it looks fabulous, babe. Don't worry about it." Yeah. But you go. <laughs> so yes, of course we do concern ourselves or wanting to look our best. But that is interesting, though, isn't it? Because <laughs> no, it is because it is it does become perception. You're, Absolutely. And then I'm looking at Moth going, you, "You look amazing. You look well, fantastic. What? Are you, yeah. You wear that. It's okay. That's right. Look at you know. You look yeah. fine. Oh no. Then changing and then mm-hmm. so it, it can yeah. be a little bit. of It's perception. like who are you dressing for? Who are you? You know. And I think it is for me. It's actually important that I make the best of my little temple and look after it. And yeah. um, I think that's really important. But at the same time, I have you have to be careful that you're not expecting yourself to look like someone else when you put on that dress that you bought in the shop that looked great on that model mm. is it going to look like that on you of course not yeah. you know i'm i've got short legs long back you know <laughs> like that comes with a whole challenge of like things that that work so yeah it's just one of those things we constantly just have to like keep in check yeah. where are our thoughts going who am i comparing myself with should i be comparing myself with all of these voices out there and old voices too. Yeah. Penny, we'll take a break. We'll come back. It's a great conversation I had this morning. We'd love you to uh, give us a call this morning, 9313-0985. Maybe you know someone, maybe even uh, someone in your family. I'd love to uh, have a chat if you know someone that is struggling, particularly with uh, mm. body image is what mm. we're talking about this yeah. morning. Give us a call, 9313-0985. My guest this morning is Penny from Kin Women. Get involved this morning. Call Mike now on 9313. 
1300985. Mornings on 98.5. He made a New Year's re- You're on 98.5. This is Mornings with Mike and Penny from Kin Women is in the studio. We're talking about, uh, I guess, a bit of a sensitive issue to be... Um, it's a... It's a, Body image. it's a it's a it's a sensitive issue it's a relevant issue it's mm. a daily issue for most people now we've got a to um, get this right in their head yeah, yeah we've got a text message I won't mention the person's name mm. uh, but this person says thank you for texting in uh, I've gained about 20 kilos over the mm. last two years that's mm. after after losing 20 kilos in the mm. five years prior yeah uh, suffice to say it's a tough season yeah weight. Yeah, it's it's a big deal for yeah. most of us. Like yeah. that's something that I struggle with every now and again, um, and I'll go really well for a while, or looking after myself, and you know, it's been then over these nice cold months where you're kind of like, <laughs> who wants to go for a walk at six o'clock in the morning? Yeah, it's a bit more challenging. Yeah, yeah. What would so, you, what would you say to this person? Uh, this person that's texting. I think it's a very real concern. She needs to know that she's not alone. That's really important, and I know, I know she would know that. Yeah. I know we know we all know that we're not alone in this challenge of putting on weight and then losing it and then putting it on again and you know and how it makes you feel and I think she has to remember a couple of things one is that her body is just one aspect of who she is and I love what Audrey Hepburn said and I think this is important for her to remember she said for beautiful eyes look for the good in others and imagine I mean Audrey Hepburn was a bit of a stunner yeah. right oh, yeah. but she under she knew that beauty was more than just how she looked and she did look lovely for beautiful eyes look for the good in others for beautiful lips speak only words of kindness and for poise walk with the knowledge that you are never alone Mm. so i would say to this lady remember that that it's not just how you look in the mirror but secondly i would say just remember and i and i'm sure they would know this is that it's actually more about your health it's really important that you view your your body and your weight, not so much from a kilos point of view, but from a health function point of view. And as we get older, I think we realise that more and more that actually this little temple of ours, it's really important that we look after it. So view it not so much by the scales, although that is one Mm, measure. But, you know, is our skin breathing? You know, can we move? Can we, do we feel like we can perform in our life and we can contribute and that, you know, we're not sluggish? And that just basically means, you know, eating good food (laughs) and not processed food and move and movement. Yeah. You know, so come at it from a health perspective Mm. and remember that you is not just about your body. Yeah. You know? You mentioned you, something you've, uh, you, I think you might have referred to it as a bit of a yo-yo kind of experience. Yeah. Like you yeah. you are up and then down and it's, you lose a bit mm-hmm. and put it back on. And yep. So weight um, is an area that you've struggled with a little bit, Penny? Um, I wouldn't say hugely. I'm not, I haven't... Um, probably in my eyes felt like I'm so out of control it's just too far to get back Um, but yeah and my eating would be around emotional times so if I'm going through a tough season you know my family something's happened in my family or whatever then where I go to is food right yeah okay so other people have other vices food would be my one Um, yeah okay so when I when you eat more simple when you eat more, you just put on weight. Yeah. We'll take a break. We'll come back and talk some more. I'd uh, love to, for you to uh, give us a call this morning. I'd love to have a chat. You might uh, you might know someone like our uh, mm. last person did. And thank you for sending that text message in. 9313-0985. Do you know someone in your family, maybe, or best friend that's uh, struggled with body image. My guest this morning is Penny from Kin Women. You're on 98.5. This is Mornings with Mike. Get involved this morning. Call Mike now on 9313 Mornings on 98.5. On 98.5, this is Mornings with Mike and Penny from Kin Women is in the studio with mm. me, uh, Kin Women, every Tuesday morning at this time. We've been talking about uh, body image, and yeah. we thank you for that last text message yeah. about uh, gaining weight, which is a, it's a big issue. But it uh, is a big we issue. We were just chatting off here, and yeah. it's... Uh, <laughs> It's not by how we're remembered, is it, Penny? When no, you think it's about, not. We get, we get so focused on I it, don't know. we? I know. We do. We get so focused on it. If you just think about your family, you know, your family at the end of the day just want to be loved. 
mm. you know, accepted, given time? Do they really care whether an outfit looks great on you that day, whether you bothered as a woman to put on your makeup? And, you know, I mean, the answer is maybe a little bit, but nothing compared <laughs> to nothing compared to how you made them feel. Yeah. You know, the words that you spoke over them. Yeah. Um, yeah, just coming alongside and spending time and... Yeah, and that's what you notice in people more than anything else is how they made you feel, the words that they spoke over you. Um, it's not about actually <laughs> how you looked mm. that day. What is it? Uh, what impact do you think it has in uh, regarding confidence? Um, and I'm thinking particularly for women because I did read some. I read some interesting mm. articles about the, some of the statistics were quite. A, um, and the reports I, I've read recently about uh, how women think about themselves. They mm. won't. They won't. For example, they won't even attend an interview because mm. they're concerned about how they look. Yes. They won't. They won't go out. They won't do this. Yes. They won't. They almost become quite isolated. It yes. was quite in, quite interesting. And I think it is. I think it is one of those elements, but I'm saying this because it's one element that actually impacts um, how you feel in those kind of situations. But you even look at like some of the the prime ministers and around this world, you know, you kind of look at them and go, well, are they really stunning and beautiful and got all the features right? Well, no. Mm. But have they been able to achieve what they wanted to achieve in life? The answer is yes. Yeah. So it's not just about how good you look compared to what you think people are expecting you to look like it's just about being confident and you know what this is the body i've been given this is the face i've been given this is the hair i've been given and i'm just gonna like go you know what like a child like seeing yourself in the mirror for the first time going oh my gosh look at me look oh my god i've got two eyes and oh they're blue and <laughs> you know oh oh like, look at the colour of my hair and, oh, I've got mm. some cheekbones and, okay, I've got a bit of a scar there and whatever. But you know what I mean? Like, looking at yourself a little bit differently rather than just critical all the time. Mm. This is what I got and this is who I am and I'm just going to make the most of it. Um, and I think when we think of it like that, we will look after ourselves better. We will keep yeah. ourselves healthy. Do we look back? On old photos oh, and old go photos. from twenty years ago. Oh wow! Oh. I, I actually looked. Oh. I, I actually looked pretty good back then. I'm oh, just saying. I was looking through some photos recently <laughs> with my daughter, and I went, "Oh my gosh, I was hot." <laughs> did you, did, <laughs> I was, did I you, was hot. If I if I look like that now, seriously. <laughs> did you tell her that? I did absolutely, and I said, "But the thing is, you know what? When I was that age, I didn't think I did." And that yeah. was so, what was so crazy. And even this last summer, I was determined I was going to wear a two-piece because we always camp every year and, and sit on the beach and everything. Mm. I was determined I was going to wear a two-piece. Right. Now, my body does not look like it that did in the 20s. But I wanted to do it for a couple of reasons. One is because I wanted to send the right messages to my girl. Awesome. That yep. as you get older... Still love your body. And if you want to wear a flipping two-piece, wear a flipping two-piece. You know, like that's what I wanted to say to myself. But also, I just wanted to do it for me. Mm. And I did. And I bought a sensible two-piece <laughs> yeah. um, that kind of worked for my age. And But at the same time, you know, I was on the beach playing frisbee and everything else. But I do have to say, I have looked after myself that year. Yeah, okay. You know what I mean? Like I, I thought to myself, I want to eat well, mm. I want to do a bit of exercise. So my mindset was a little bit in a different place. Whereas if you've come out of a sluggish time and food had been, you know, my coping mechanism and everything else, you do, you feel like you're on the back foot a bit. So make sure you've got good people around you who are telling you you're okay and you mm. look gorgeous. Yeah. And okay, so you've put on a few kilos, you can get it off again. That's okay. And look after yourself. So, yeah, be, be really careful just not to criticise yourself too much and be amazed at your body rather than embarrassed mm. or, or why haven't I? It's good, Penny. We'll take a break. We'll come back and talk some more. Uh, give us a call this morning. Love to talk to you. 9313-0985. My guest in the studio is Penny from Kinwomen. You're on 98.5. Get involved this morning. Call Mike now on 9313-0985. Mornings on 98.5. On 98.5, this is Mornings with Mike and uh, Penny from Kin Women is in the studio. We've been talking about uh, body image. Mm. What would you say to someone listening this morning that's um, really struggling with, with their body image? On a, and for a lot of women, it can be, uh, mm -hmm. can be on, a, on a daily basis. 
Um, I, w- I would say again, the first thing, you're not alone. Mm. <laughs> Please remember that you are not alone in this. Um, and we're all very complex and for different reasons we would have those struggles. Voices of parents, you know, boyfriends that dumped us, um, you know, school kids, like old voices about, you know. So just remember that. Um, and if you need help, in getting that thinking right, then go see a counsellor. Go mm. talk to someone. I think who you have around you is really important. Like, what are they talking about? What yeah. are they saying is important in life? If, if it's all about a focus on body and clothes, and then I'd say, you know what, just you know, really think about that. Mm. Be careful what you're watching on television, on the Netflix, those kind of series how much you're watching social media, how much you're scrolling and comparing. Um, I think you really need to be careful. That would be one thing. It's Penny, interesting you mentioned um, about school. Uh, I, know, oh, yeah, I was, I was school. just thinking about... Is Formative you, years. 14, 15-year-olds, 16-year-olds. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Is that... Can that be um, quite a critical area or a critical time for a lot of, particularly for a lot of girls? Oh, yeah, think? absolutely. And, and even earlier than that. My girl's 16 right now. Okay. But I can remember, like, even in myself, like, things that were said to me at, say, 11, 12, 13 about, you know, and good things as well. Oh, Penny's really strong. Right. Or yep. um, down to, oh, you've got short legs, haven't you? Right. Um or oh you've got a re- you've got a really skinny waist but you know and then some little kid will say oh you've got a big bottom you know mm. it, you get what I'm saying and they they're formative years and they f- form if we're not careful um, these little voices that even come up in our like forties still <laughs> you know it's just yeah. crazy yeah yeah so I think um, I think definitely seek some help if you need to evaluate your thinking. Make sure there's good people around you. Be really smart about how much time you're spending on watching things that are not helping you. Yeah, that's good. Penny, we'll take a break. We'll come back and wrap things up. Okay. Uh, my guest in the studio this morning is Penny from Kin Women. You are on 98.5. This is Mornings with Mike. Hi, Bevan Jones here, CEO at 98.5. The all-new Mitsubishi Outlander is the perfect car for the family. I know. We've got two for the team here at 98.5. We're on 98.5, this is Mornings with Mike and Penny from Kinnett Women is with me in the studio. We've been talking about body image. Good morning, Sarah. You've got some advice for us this morning? Yeah, I just listened earlier about what the, your topic about body image. For me, I, I know I understand what Penny is saying. There's a lot of women out there like me or like, like us that... Uh, Getting feel uh, insecure because of what you look like, your sizes is the main thing because opposite thing is mostly women look at your body, not what you mm. inside. But what I my advice to people is be content and satisfied for what you have because at the end of the day, I believe that God defines us, not the, what the thought of other people, you know. And at the same time, like Penny said, if your family thinks you look good, just be look good and confident and be yourself, love yourself. Mm. That's all I can say. Mm. Good on you, Sarah. Beautiful. Love you coming on and sharing that. Yeah, be yourself and love yourself. Just so important that beauty is so much more yeah. um, multifaceted and complex than what we see in that piece of glass. The mirror. Yes, the mirror. It's just, you know, it's so rich. Beauty is so rich, and it is. It's the words that you speak and how you make others feel and your contribution and how you hold yourself. And, you know, it's it's so shallow to just think of it as in what we think about our body. Penny, we are out of time. Really appreciate you uh, coming in. We'll uh, catch up next uh, next Tuesday morning. You will. Indeed. My guest in the studio this morning has been Penny from Kin Women. You are on 98.5. This is Mornings with Mike. Good morning. Great advice in a fast-changing world. Mornings with Mike. Only on 98.5.